All right, folks, this video we're going to install the i9-12900 because it doesn't have a home at the moment. We're going to install it into our Asus Prime Z690P. There's a little NAND in here. And uh, this is the Wi-Fi wi -Fi one. So we have the, uh, the D5 of this without Wi-Fi. And eventually I'm going to do a comparison between DDR4, DDR5. I think this will be about as close as you can get to comparing them. There's the i9-12900, which is a monster. Wow. All right. So this is a uh, motherboard that I got. Uh, it was uh, RMA or whatever, so it got sent back to Asus for whatever reason. Why somebody wrecked the socket? Who knows? As long as it works. I've got, you know, good old eBay gives you, what, 30, 60 days to return it? We should do a better job cleaning it up. I'm going to pause this to clean the CPU a little bit better. All right, so uh, unlike the 1151s, I take the uh, plastic top off of these. I can get it out of here. Things really on there, folks. Um, yeah, the previous generations, these things popped off easy when you would drop the the lever down on the CPU. So it's basically gonna put that in there like so, and then come in and crank that arm down. Boom, good to go. Now I think I'm gonna do a knock to a uh, CPU cooler on this. I would do. Uh, my V true, but uh, it doesn't look like they're going to hook me up with with a uh, a kit for it. So I'll uh, I guess I won't ever use that for 1210. I don't know. We will uh, go ahead and grab this thing though. So this should be the uh, NHU 12S. Of course, you're looking at the back of the fan, and we need our Brackets. Hopefully these are the right ones. I'm just going to double check. Yeah, it looks like the right one. We have an assortment of screwdrivers over here, so we should be good there. Oops. But he knows I love my Noctuas. Um, sooner or later, I'm going to... Grab the big, the big, uh, what do I got? What's it called? Either the NHD15S or my NHD14. And put that on here. When I do that, folks, it's another story. But, uh, all right, so what am I doing in the background? I'm getting the bracket ready. Take all the parts off of it. All right, so this is the, uh, basically, what, the mounting plate? back bracket, whatever you want to call it. And usually I don't do it that well. Um, oops, maybe I didn't do it that good. Okay. So that guy's in there. Now we're going to put our hard plastic spacers in. And then I'm going to guess but it's this way. You could be wrong. Let's see. Yep, there you go. And this one is pretty, you know, relatively symmetrical. So this is my favorite CPU. Now we do have the 12th Gen i7. We, um, Never bothered to get the i7 12700K, but we did get the i7 12700F. And I did get a uh, Ryzen 7 5800X. And this thing obviously is better than my Ryzen 9 3900X, quite a bit better. Um, interesting, some of the games run a little better on the 5800X, I believe. 
from what I've seen. So we're going to tighten these down. And this is probably ideal with a, actually a number two on these. I don't want these nice and tight, right? Not so ridiculously tight though, you'll never get it off, but... Okay, that's on. Now, it'd be nice if I could find some good thermal paste. All I see is cheap, crappy thermal paste around here. It's not good. Uh, I'll be back, folks. All right, so hopefully there's not too paste in here. And of course, it's hardened up, so. All right. So I ended up getting two other motherboards in today. And you know, I could put one big gold glob down. We are um, just kind of spacing it out. There's all kinds of ways to do this, folks. So will that be enough? That's a good question. Alright, that should be enough. Alright, so pop that down in there. And hope this thing catches. There we go. You don't want to tighten the the one side too much before you do the other side. Makes it a lot harder to get that side going. And they're both in now, so we can jam this thing down good now. I'm going to switch over to the other screwdriver. Nice and tight. Come back in this side. Yeah, that's on there nice and tight now. So, this is how you want your uh, brackets, okay? In case your brackets aren't on there. And then I want this to be basically in this lower right hand corner because we're going to attach it over here that would be ideal now I think about it I have to take the brackets off so guess what we're going to do it this way it'll still reach so we do that and we're going to just pull this thing into position do the same for the other side and boom now, this is your uh, CPU fan cooler. The other one's optional. I could put a second fan on here. Assuming I had the brackets to do it. Because um, I do have another fan I could use. You can kind of see this thing is not squared up very good. Now, if we're putting four sticks of RAM in, you would probably want to put those in first, but in our case, we're only going to go do two. So this is a A2 and B2. We want to uh, put a RAM in those slots per the, uh, the manual. Boom. And a lot should be in there, hopefully. So. One thing to note, this side is shorter than that side. That's which one to line up here. 
And you'll notice a lot of the time, maybe all the time, when you're looking at it this way, the print's readable. All right, so the RAM's in. Now, we, uh, we're going to put our M.2 in. This thing would support Gen 4. I only have a Gen 3. I'm going to move this out of the way because we need our standoff and the set screws. Set screw. We're only going to put one drive in here. So in the box. I have a bunch of parts that I'll probably never use. Heck, I may even just sell off my uh, IO shield. Alright. So we need to open this up, get these out. I'm going to go ahead and attach them to the motherboard. I'm looking for the 2280 slot, all right, which would be this one. This is uh, surprising. I'm not sure. They must have had a really big M.2 in there. I personally have never used one bigger than bigger than this. All right, so this is going to go in here. I'll go ahead and put the other one in. Just to have it for later. Then we need to find our little screws. I probably don't have the right screwdriver for this, but we'll try it anyways. So I'm just going ahead and putting this in there so it's ready for later. Alright, so our M.2 coming in about 30 degrees off the deck. And what did I do, folks? Put that in the wrong spot. That was not 2280. Um, whoops. Okay. Do that again. Boom. And put that screw in. Hope we won't cross thread it. And folks, that's going to do it for uh, this portion. Of course, when we get it into uh, the test bench, we will hook up to the power switch, which is right there. We will pick up, we'll hook up our 24-pin uh, PSU. We'll hook up the uh, CPU power connector there. And plug in USBs for keyboards, Ethernet, and all that good stuff. Thanks for checking out the video. Please like, please subscribe. Thank you.